Comparing fraction statements, looking at fractions with related denominators. We have learned about equality symbols. We have greater than, less than, and equal to. Now we will use the symbols to make fraction statements true. Here we have 5 and 1 third, and on a number line it is there. To evaluate the other side of the statement, we know that 3 plus 2 is 5, and 1 sixth plus 3 sixths is 4 sixths, so our total is 5 and 4 sixths. Now we can see that 5 and 1 third is less than 5 and 4 sixths. Let's try another. We have 3 and 5 eighths, which is there. And now on the other side, when we add 1 and 2, we get 3. Then 1 quarter plus 2 quarters is 3 quarters. So the answer is 3 and 3 quarters. It is still a bit tricky to be certain which one is greater. So we need to think about our quarters as eighths. We can prove that 3 and 3 quarters is the same as 3 and 6 eighths. If we use a diagram, 3 quarters looks like this. When we add the lines in to show eighths, we can definitely see that 6 eighths is the same as 3 quarters. Now we know for certain that 3 and 5 eighths is less than 3 and 6 eighths. Taking the steps slowly is important for understanding the maths. Drawing a picture can help us see it more clearly. When comparing fractions, we evaluate both sides and then use strategies that make sense for us to compare their values. Let's try this one. We have two thirds, and then if we add one sixth plus two more six plus one sixth, we get four sixths altogether. To compare this to thirds, we need to think about how thirds and sixths are related. We know that two times three is six, so thirds and sixths are related by a factor of two. So on our diagram, if we remove every second line on the fraction bar, we can see that four sixths is the same as two thirds. So we can change it to an equal sign to make the statement true. Let's try another. We can use a diagram to help us keep track. We have 7 twelfths to start with, and if we add 1 half, twelfths, half is 6, so we know that 6 twelfths is half. So when we add them, we get 13 twelfths altogether. Then we need to take away 3 twelfths, so our final answer is 10 twelfths. Now we need to think about how twelfths and sixths are related. We know that 2 times 6 is 12, so sixths and twelfths are related by a factor of 2. If we look at our 10 twelfths, and then we remove every second line, we can see that 10 twelfths is the same as 5 sixths. So we put an equal sign to make the statement true. Being able to think about related fractions, drawing a diagram to help us see and complete the maths, and then understanding the value of fraction statements is important for understanding and working with fractions.